So here in London, you never know who you're gonna meet. So there was Chris and Hing who introduced me to Bar Bruno, Sonia who assisted me on day one with a mural, Emma and Barb and Bob. So many people to bump into here in London. Could be anyone off the top of my head. Anwar, maybe. We'll never know. Yeah. There was this one person who I have not seen in over 30 years who will next give us a tour of his neighborhood, which happens to be Brick Lane, a popular street art location in London. Hi there. Welcome to, uh, welcome to Spitalfields, uh, over yonder. Uh, we have uh, the uh, Ten Bells pub, uh, famous, uh, made famous by Jack the Ripper as his, uh, as his uh, place where he used to like hanging out and uh, picking up the ladies. Um, should we go grab a half pint? Okay. Come on, man. <laughs> um, in case you're wondering, he's my cousin, yeah. Sure, you, can <laughs> yeah. See, you can see that, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mum's side, so yeah. <laughs> And that's him on the right. So I'm and uh, we just passed by a bubble tea, Yifang, the bubble tea shop from Taiwan, and they are closed. So unfortunately, we are heading here. It's called the Ten Bells. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna come back there. Spitalfields Market. Um, back in East London, uh, walking around Brick Lane. This is um, uh, the home of uh, UK street art. And uh, right over here, we have one of the first pieces Banksy put up in London. Uh, it's kind of faded into, uh, into obscurity a little bit. Uh, there used to be stencils all over the thing, but now they've just kept the car. I'm just used to seeing uh, wall stencils of Banksy and not like a 3D. Right, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Wow. Another phone box around here. Wow, so yeah, we're, we're finally here. Uh, this guy as well, he's pretty famous. Uh, like, uh, chisels out, uh, oh, yeah. but he does it normally on like walls. These guys have commissioned it, but wow. he would chisel these things into like walls all over the place. Uh, oh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah. And uh, that's not a Banksy. Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> such a run-down, kind of grimy area, it's like the kind of artist kind of central, you know, it's a, the, the, the centre of street art, and like creative kind of uh, uh, industries in London. But I hear it's also picking up, like the price. Oh, the price yeah, no, of it, it's right? still in London. Yeah, so uh, it's still incredibly unaffordable for. <laughs> <laughs> but but more so than in the West or in the centre. So, um, yeah. <laughs> They're all so we'll probably a, close at this time, exactly. yeah. So we'll do a little tour and then yeah. we'll just go sit yeah. down and have what? some food Yeah. Oh, wow. This is like a public residence, kind of. Uh, yes. Exactly. And, okay. I think it's going to take about another generation before Singapore becomes like that. Uh, with, with the, <laughs> Street, street the free, stuff. yeah, the, just the freeness of doing art, uh, you know, and uh, good art, not you know, not tasteless art. Right. But so my cousin and I, we can't find any coffee shops that are still open at this time of day. It's uh, seven fifty. Uh, so he brought me here to this taco burrito place. <laughs> Bottoms up. Yeah, go ahead. to have Mexican food. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. So I managed to squeeze in a little sketch of the taco I ate between catching up with Yen and him browsing my sketchbook because when he's looking at my sketchbook, I can't doodle. Later, he invited me to his apartment where I was able to sketch a panoramic view of some of the skyscrapers in London. What a treat! It was great catching up with you, cuz. Let it not be another 30 years until the next meetup. This is Alvin Mark trying to make sense of 
all the random footages that I've captured in London. I hope that you are enjoying all my travel sketches. Until the next episode guys, ciao!